This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to take a look at the new power supply offering from NZXT, the Hale 82 series. We're going to take a look at the 850 watt model today. The Hale 82 series comes right on the heels of the Hale 90 series, which won many awards. Uh, the Hale 82 series retains most of the same features, comes in at a lower price point, with the only sacrifice being about 5% efficiency difference. Uh, the Hale 90 was a gold certified 80 plus power supply, whereas the Hale 82 is 80 plus bronze certified. Taking a look at the packaging, you get a small window, you can see a tiny bit of the Hale 82 power supply itself. All black box, as is typical from NZXT, logo up top, little red accents. Up top, we see a less than three sticker, explaining NZXT's return policy. NZXT has really gone out of the way to make uh, the RMA process very simple. Simply register your product at the NZXT website. Pre, uh, you'll print out a pre-printed and pre-paid shipping label and send it right back. NZXT is going to handle the shipping on both ends for any power supply issues. We see down here a couple of the features. It is a hybrid modular power supply. 100% Japanese capacitors for added stability and much longer life. Single 12 volt rail. Uh, a lot of it's been made over single versus multiple rails. Uh, typically most people feel that the single rail is going to be a much stronger way to go. Adding much more stability also gives you a lot more flexibility. Moving over to the back of the box, we get a little more information on the Hale 82 850 watt power supply. Just a little blurb, introducing the Hale's power supply. You've got your DC output chart right here. 3.3 volts, plus 5 volts, maximum of 150 watts, 25 amps each on each of the minor rails. Your 12 volt, which naturally is your biggest concern, 70 amps on a single rail, 840 watts maximum. Minus 12 volts, 0.5 amps, 6 watts, 5 volt SB, 3 amps, 15 watts. As you can see, you've got a big focus on that single strong power rail. Uh, that's going to come in really handy uh, in a case where, like today, we're going to be putting this into a bulldozer system with a 6950 uh, video card. In that type of scenario, using the single rail, that bulldozer, when it's overclocked, is capable of drawing well over 400 watts by itself. Uh, whereas if this was eight, the 70 amps, 840 watts was broken down into three rails, it's not going to be getting that supply. Uh, with the single rail, it's going to be able to draw from that single rail. Uh, the GPU is still going to be getting plenty while it's drawing only a couple of hundred uh, watts. So really the single rail opens you up for quite a bit more. Going down, taking a look at some of the features. 80 plus bronze certified, 100% Japanese capacitors, 120 millimeter two ball bearing fan, which is a little unusual. Uh, typically we see a 130 millimeter fan in power supplies, modular design, single strong 12 volt rail, large tower support. The cables are very lengthy on this power supply. The 8 pin EPS ATX 12 volt is 710 millimeters. So that's going to give you really a lot of uh, wiggle room getting that up to the power supply behind the motherboard tray. And dual 8-pin connectors for high-end uh, motherboards. Also, keep it safe. Hale 82 offers voltage, current, power, temperature, under voltage, and start current or short circuit protection. Inside of the box, we see that the Hale 82 is packed in nice foam rubber surround. Definitely going to protect it from damage. Power supply itself, all of your cables come in a nice drawstring bag. Taking a look at the Hale 82 itself, uh, first thing we see, there's a drastic change in appearance from the Hale 90 series. The Hale 90 was all white with black accents, whereas the Hale 82 goes back to an all black with a white accent in the fan, which is NZXT's trademark. Uh, very good looking power supply, very clean, very simple. Down bottom of the power supply, or top depending on your mounting, you've got the NZXT logo with all of your outputs listed. NZXT logo is embossed into the sides into a nice black powder coat finish. Good amount of ventilation area, on off switch, AC input. Moving over to the other side. 
It is a hybrid modular. What that means is your main power connectors are hardwired into the unit and you've got modular for your peripherals and additional PCI Express as well as a second CPU 12 volt. Coming off the unit, we've got black sleeve connectors, standard ATX 20 plus 4. You've got four PCI Express 8 pins, 6 plus 2s. So right off the bat, you're set for two uh, video cards, two high power video cards as well. You've also got the 710 millimeter 12 volt for your CPU. So very, very nice looking unit. Uh, beautiful black sleeving, as you can see. Nice, flexible, absolutely no problems with flexibility on any of the cabling. Taking a look at the accessories that comes with the HAL 82850, uh, naturally you've got a user's manual and of course mounting screws. The user's manual is actually pretty simple. Uh, it's power supply basically. What you wind up with is just specifications and one page quick install manual. Uh, as we had stated, you've got the drawstring bag to keep all your cables and of course AC plug. Now getting down to your modular cables. Uh, you've got two Molex cables, each with three four pin Molex. You've got PCI Express cable to add another two PCI Express 6 plus 2s. You've also got one more 12 volt CPU cable and three SATA cables. Uh, the three SATA cables come in two varieties. You've got two with three SATA connectors, which are 550 millimeters plus 150 plus 150, and you've got the smaller with two SATA connectors, which is 350 millimeters plus 150. That's going to give you a lot of flexibility when it comes time to wire up your system, do all your cable routing. Also, you'll notice the cables themselves are all flat ribbon. That's going to be very easy to route behind the motherboard. It's going to lay nice and flat. Also, the cables are very well made. They're sleeved all the way up to the connectors on each and every modular cable. That's going to be great for hiding wires. Uh, the various colors aren't going to stick out inside of your case, so it's going to be a very, very nice, clean-looking install. Taking a look at the overall package of the HAL 82, it's a really, really well thought out package. Uh, nice features on the power supply, nice black outside, white accent on the fan if it happens to be facing into the case. Uh, comes with a drawstring bag to keep all your modular cables. The modular cables themselves are very well thought out, all flat ribbon. Varying lengths on the, SAT, on the uh, SATA cables, which is very important for your cable routing. is going to give you a lot of flexibility. Nice heavy gauge AC connector and complete user's manual. Uh, very brief, but explains everything you need to know about the power supply itself. So the NZXT HAL 82, 850 watt power supply, a lot of power, very, very clean looking install when it's going to be done. Uh, great cable writing options, very well thought out.